So while I'm down here, I uh, <clears throat> took care of my final business uh, with Bruce's estate and all that. So on the way home, I'm gonna do a little bourbon hunting. Maybe see if there's something unique in North Carolina. It's like a five hour drive down to Wilmington. Uh, of course, I stopped at Chapel Hill and ate at uh, Time Out Chicken in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home of the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. And man, that, <laughs> that was one great chicken sandwich. Uh, you, if you haven't seen that video, check that video out. It is awesome so check that out and i'll be heading across the road here and going to this little abc store see if they got anything i don't know we'll see it's gotta be something really special like elmer t lee i'm on the hunt for elmer t lee So, uh, actually, I can see the little ABC store right across the street. So, I'll just go over there. Oh, no. Not there. There. Right straight across. Let's see what they got. And uh, I got to get some gas so I can get on home. You know, Roanoke, Virginia used to have... Uh, some of the cheapest gas on the East Coast and it now it is high, high. I mean this morning was 339 so 30 cents higher than this which is 299 uh, well they say it's too nice actually 309 unless you got 10 cents off somehow but I mean that's still that's 30 cents more so it's crazy That's interesting. AP Colony, North Carolina. Produced and bottled by Bogue, B O G U E. That's cool. I may have to get that. They got bourbon, they got salted caramel, and Carolina peanut butter. And here's the muddy river. That's interesting. Rums. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, um, and we got uh, the, can't remember the name of it, Scotch, it's, which it's wow, that's a really good here. price for the Highland 12. I don't know. But it's just straight. $62.95. I've tried it. It's like, uh, all right, but I'm, I'm on a bourbon hunt, so I'm looking for bourbon. Yeah, Let's see what they got. Like Good night. Heavy door revival. I know we will. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Well, wow, look at here. This peg leg porker Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey was just named the best whiskey in the world it's a kentucky no it's a tennessee straight bourbon whiskey hmm so if it's the best in the world it's only uh 45 dollars i think we got to get that Look at this War Eagle Bourbon, Old Abe. That's one forty-four. But imagine you're paying for that eagle, which is really cool. <clears throat> Wonder. <laughs> yeah, buddy, just sent that to me. Something else. You're getting the whiskey of the year. Now this dark rye basil Hayden is really good. Good mixer. Really good in a uh, old fashioned. Here's another one good and old fashioned. Really all the stores that we used on the East Road, okay? I think that was like four or five bucks a foot. But obviously, it's not on the road, no walls. No air, no air, no air. Let's go take a look. I'm still looking for the Evan Williams. They say it's going to come out. Evan Williams. You have a sale. They call it a 110. It's a hundred proof, aged 10 years. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to be louder? <laughs> yes. Okay. There's All right, so I'm going to go with the uh, Peg Leg Porker, voted best whiskey of the year. All right, guys, so that was a nice little stop. Uh, and wasn't expecting to see this. So, but we got the Peg Leg Porker. Belleville, North Carolina is right outside of Wilmington, close to the coast. So, and when we open this, I'll tell you the story about Peg Leg Pete. Pretty scary. Don't miss that live stream when I open up this bottle. I had to make a U-turn and I'm gonna stop here at this little Brunswick abc store and i've stopped here before and i think one time i picked up a uh, barrel proof of elijah craig which is pretty good and i like these guys they're good guys in here so uh we'll go check it out shoot i've, I've been looking for that the old Forester, I think they come. This is just a regular Jim Bain, right? Yeah, I'm looking at the Elijah Craig. Have they? Everybody else. I figured you were looking for a unicorn. I am. We got one. Oh, do you over there? Sure do. All right, I'll be over there in just a second. He, he says I'm looking for a unicorn, and I'm going to head over that way. Because these guys take care of me before. 
Oh, there's the 2XO, which I'd like to have. Okay, out of 2025. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you. You take care, okay? Oh, gosh, look at that. Patron for 500. That's something. There it is. On the top shelf to your right. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he got me for sure. Look at this. Uh, look at that. The you World Whiskey okay? yeah, Reserve Collection. I'm good. I'm off, man. You know, you me. I'm off. Hey, that's good. I'm glad you get some time off. You right, take no, care no, now. No. So, guys, there's your unicorn. And you sold me on the okay. store pick okay. as your book. Awesome. So she, okay. you, have, you, have you tasted it? No, sir. Have not tasted yet. it? So I'll let I'll come back and let you know if it's Please worth, worth it. buying. And I, y'all have y'all have always got some cool bottles sitting up here. So that's good. We appreciate it. Nice to meet you. you. You're gonna be famous by all <laughs> maybe fifteen viewers. <laughs> John just told me a really crazy story about the mountains of North Carolina. He retold it, but I'm going to have him tell it again. I mean, he told it to me, but I'm going to have him tell it again. Let's see. Hello, hello. So the mountains of North Carolina are the oldest in the whole world. And back in the 90s, I was near Estato, North Carolina. How you doing? And I was driving good, driving in my Jeep. It was a little Suzuki Samurai. It was nighttime and a moth flew down and covered my entire windshield. It was at least this this wide. Had a little yes. proboscis, about the size of my pinky. Right. Had eyes on its wings to fend off predators or whatever, but I know that was a prehistoric moth that I saw, oh and I'll never forget it. No doubt, no doubt. That was crazy, because he, he remembered I had shared my Bigfoot story with him, so he told me one that's that's pretty scary. Pretty cool. It's but cool and scary. I'm glad you didn't hurt yourself. Me man. too. That is crazy. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate you. You take care. And I'm going to save my money up and come get one of them unicorns. Watch this <laughs> Guys, that, that's a great stop. If you're ever on 74 heading east towards Wilmington, you get to the Brunswick area, you'll see the little liquor store on the right side of the road and John is great seen him in there several times and the owner is a great guy and all the employees the lady that was there today I should have got her name but she was awesome too and she convinced me to get that Ezra Brooks so she that was good uh, and John was telling me about that beforehand but great great store just really nice people and that's what you want I mean uh, when you're bourbon hunting and they've always got some unique bottles and they also got unicorns so now we're in I don't know Chaunceyville maybe I'm not sure but it's another liquor store that's um, called the Lake Wakama ABC store so we're gonna go into the Lake Wakama and uh, looks like a nice little store we're gonna go check it out right here in North Carolina the bourbon it's a nice little store oh goodness I've got Stella Uh, pretty good. Got the Redwood Empire, and this is the bottled and bond and Grizzly Beast bottled and bond.
Devil's River, small batch, Texas bourbon. Hmm. Cool bottle. Forty-five percent alcohol, ninety proof. That's cool. Interesting. That stuff is great. Sixty-five bucks. Great price. Okay. Lady working in there is really nice. Uh, and they have some nice bottles. I, I said the guy told me that the Southern Star was really good, but uh, I think it was sixty dollars. I think sixty-five. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull the trigger uh, on that. So if you guys around North Carolina, if you say that Southern Star is good stuff, then I'll head back down here and get that because I, I like the bottle. They had single barrel and they had a bottled and bond. Let me know which one you've tried and which one you think is the best. And when I head back down this way, I'll pick that up. And they had some other really good bottles, some different stuff. So. They had Heaven Hill bottled and bond for $49. Now, if I already didn't have a bottle of that, I'd have bought that. But that's good stuff right there. $49.95 for or 50 bucks basically for Heaven Hill bottled and bond. Good stuff. And uh, all the stores have some Kentucky Owl in there, which not bad prices, but you know, really for but one store had it for $124 and um, Honestly, the um, confiscated Kentucky Owl for 134 to me, it's just too high priced. I, I just think that's just too much money for that. When I can buy Kentucky Spirit for 65 and that's a great price in there, or a Russell's Reserve single barrel for, you know, 70 bucks. Now, that's talking, so... I, I think you have to be a little picky once you get above 100 and I am a little picky so uh, the Kentucky Owl I'm sure there's some great great bottles they make because they wouldn't be in business and people absolutely love them so anyway okay guys so um, I have stopped three times on the bourbon hunt and uh, what was a five hour drive I'm turn, making it into like a six hour drive or whatever I still got four and a half hours to go so unless there's one sitting on the highway I may not stop <laughs> but thanks for watching uh, the bottles I picked up so far the Ezra Brooks uh store pick and the what was it? oh the peg leg porker we'll be trying on the next live stream so stay tuned for that and uh hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and you know consider becoming a member or a, or a patreon member which really helps so consider that and uh, hey but just liking and subscribing and commenting you know that really helps too so appreciate you guys a lot and we'll see you on the next video and always keep it squatching <laughs>